The Gomeshi story and this week's headlines about harassment on Parliament Hill have put a spotlight on the problem of harassment in the workplace. While some companies have established policies to deal with the issue, it persists, and estimates suggest it costs the Canadian economy billions of dollars a year. Peter Armstrong has a look at how one company is trying to create a safe workplace. Minority media's offices in Montreal look like a scene at a central casting, a young, diverse bunch of video game programmers banging away at their computers. Their newest game is called Spirits of Spring. It's a video game about bullying. Vander Caballero founded this company in 2010, wanting to make a different kind of video game, but also wanting to build a different kind of company. You need to start with a different approach. Caballero's goal was to create an environment where everyone felt welcome, safe, and protected. I care so much about it because I'm a minority. Caballero says he knows firsthand what it's like to be mistreated in the office. So from day one, he tried to find small ways of changing the culture in his workplace. I'm the CEO of the company. I don't have an office. I sit down with the people. I sit down with everyone. I'm one of the team. And by doing that, and I'm always trying to uh, eliminate that uh, power imbalance in the company. In the wake of the Gian Gameshi allegations, two federal MPs in Ottawa came forward this week with allegations of their own. Today, Justice Minister Peter McKay said there may be a silver lining in all this. I think there's a very mature discussion now happening in the country. I think it has, it has elevated the public consciousness of the importance of stamping out harassment and addressing it head on. Employment law expert Stuart Rudner says the key to that is thinking about culture, not just policy. He says creating that kind of workplace takes time and effort, not money. All employers actually need to do, he says, is pay attention, always look for ways to provide a safe working environment. You know, historically that was, you know, providing hard hats and steel toe boots on a construction site, but we all know that it goes far beyond that now, and, and most of the complaints we deal with as employment lawyers are more related to bullying or harassment issues. As long as people have been going to work, people have been harassed at work. The cost is enormous, from health care to lost time to legal fees, and still this problem persists. Frustrating when, as Rudner points out, the solution is so simple. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.